Okay, we got Sparky playing Emmerich in the blue versus Sykoya playing Ragnar in the black. They're playing on Traumatized. This is TYM June, so this is a bit of an older replay, but I figured we'd skipped a bunch of the June replays. Let's go back and check one of the older ones out. Traumatized is a pretty interesting map too. Definitely one of the larger ones in the pool. Not something you would typically see in a kind of timed event, but definitely works for the asynchronous timer. Or lack of, let's see. It's like, oh, ooh, taking a, a very slow capture phase with their commander, but I guess it makes sense. You want to get the heal at the right time. And ooh, yeah, they're just going to keep going. Probably going to heal the turn after. So yeah, it makes sense to not have this commander kind of jump forward too far. And ooh, the money is building up fast. We've got 1,200 gold on the side of Sykoya. Are they going to spend it? Are they going to save for another turn? One night, two night comes out. Okay. So they're all done with building big units. And ooh, we actually see a riverboat coming out here from Sparky. So they're going to get a little bit of value out of that. Going to capture this port village here. Second riverboat comes out. Okay, so they're going to probably be making use of this converter. That or they're expecting to fight center with riverboats. Which is entirely possible. Like, you can actually, like, shove them into the center. A couple good tiles for that here. Typically, you would see them more used for merfolk, but... Well, Sparky's going to keep going forwards. Okay, Emmerich's gonna not kill this unit as it's on Flagstone, and swords on Flagstone are just tanky enough. That village is gonna go down. Okay, so go Seeing on Ragnar Groove. You know, big capture phase, you're gonna build a lot of Groove early. But we're just seeing more and more Swords kind of moving around, and there we go. Dragon comes out. That is going to be the unit of choice on the side of Sparky. No, on the side of Sakura, sorry. Sparky's going to have to deal with it. Amrick's okay against Dragon. You know, you throw Crystal down. Your range units can hit it from further away. Your mages will crit from basically any tile you want them to. You can do fancy stuff like sort of drop crystal and then have your own air units sit on the crystal. It's the only kind of defense bonus those units can get. Damn it, crystal. You can get very tanky balloons, very tanky dragons. Fight me! I actually think nothing can one shot a dragon yeah. under Emmerich crystal. Maybe like a harpoon ship crit, maybe, but. And like maybe like a mage crit as well, but it, it's pretty rare. It take a lot to have that be a thing. Okay, spear comes out. Sparky's just like, okay, I made all these riverboats. I'm not really sure what I wanted to do with them, and is now going to convert them back. And a barge comes out. Interesting. Going to back up a bit with their commander. And this is kind of difficult because both players have really strong like, offensive options. So, you know, Dragon, obviously, very long range, very good at dealing with pretty much everything. Can even fight a mage one on one if it gets the first hit. Obviously, not a great trade. But if you have two dragons and they have one mage, you can overwhelm. Are we going to see more anti air come out? Sparky does have a witch, so that won't be like a turn out, basically. Their own dragon. You can body block against enemy dragons with your dragon. That is also an option. You don't see that just yet. And we're not seeing any ranged units coming out for Sparky just yet. Which I'm not super sure about like this is kind of the point when you'd actually like to start building some archers i don't know about like ballista although one ballista 
with the emerald crystal is pretty terrifying, so could maybe see that. But for now, very content just to go with just mages for the moment and no ranged units. I guess, you know, you've got a converter as well, so you could like convert something. Not gonna see anything just yet, and ooh, we're gonna see that riverboat get turned into something. I didn't quite catch what it was, but be there in a moment. Okay, gets another spear with it. Okay, and it's just using barge. Ah, so okay, shield jump comes out. What's gonna happen here? Big damage on the knight. Okay, gonna burn groove just for that, but. I think that's fine. I think you build a lot of groove on this map. Ragna. It's gonna be okay. Ooh, we have a low health frog. That is actually <clears throat> pretty terrifying because that is almost as effective as a full health frog. Obviously, but like straight up fighting, it's not as good. But you know, frogs aren't really used for that. They're used for pulling, maneuverability, all that kind of stuff. And Murfolk getting converted there. Ooh, good spear crit. They're gonna take a lot of counter attack damage. Oh wow, actually, they could go down next turn in theory, but... Will Ragna stay and fight it out? I don't think so, there is a dragon on the way. And yeah, two dragons on the side of Sparky now. Both players taking their time. Neither really wants to be super aggressive just yet. Strongholds are very open though, like both of these armies are on the north and the south, like the center is almost completely empty. And I am very curious if Sykori is just going to be like, I'm just going to go swing my army north. I guess there's a blue to reinforce and a barge, so... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. If Sykoya could push and do enough damage. There's a lot of defensive reinforcements nearby. But yeah, both players still playing it pretty passively. Probably gonna see a very explosive turn. In like, maybe like three or four turns from now, I think it's gonna be a positional game largely. I think we're gonna see this knight get converted into a frog as well. It's a lot cheaper and a lot more useful to have a low health frog than it is to buy something. Uh, or heal up your unit or buy something like kind of ridiculous like a golem although actually I guess you could convert it and then convert it again but we could see that become a low health golem it all depends it's like we're actually starting to make some ground ooh they're going to be aggressive this turn getting a few hits here and there Frog moves forward. Doesn't do a pull this turn. Just seeing. Little baby steps. Ooh, picks up the kill in the balloon. That's really important, actually. Because you are... So there is that interesting dynamic of... A mage is cheaper than a balloon. So trading a mage for a balloon, you'd think would make sense. But building a balloon is an extra unit count. Which you might not other have otherwise. So you do go down on unit count if you go for the mage and yeah, we see a low health frog coming out there from Sparky. I'll probably heal up a little bit as the game goes on. You got like a spare 100 gold here, 50 gold there. Like you might as well get your frog up a little bit on health, but. Okay, what are we gonna see now? Tier two comes out. That trebuchet is a long way from the front. There is a barge though. But we could see the trebuchet get pulled forward quite heavily actually it doesn't take that long to get it near the center so will sparky go for something like a big trebuchet play and will sequoia do anything to stop it because i think at this point you really have to all right the night crit on the mage that's gonna do that frog's gonna pull this forwards oh 
We're going to see this dragon open on two sides. Oh, wow. Regular witch hit does not do that much. And crystal, very, very low. Okay, so Emmerich is actually going to get broken here. The character attack should also be pretty huge. I think that witch is going to go down. There is a mage nearby. And Sykoya, really nice attack that is going to prevent the stronghold from going down in a few turns from the trebuchet. Yeah, the crystal's just going to die. Pop it. There it goes. Alright, dragon goes down. We're going to probably see this witch go down to the mage as well. Amric. Ooh, going to put his commander next to a beach at the end of the turn. That's pretty scary, especially with a frog nearby. Could very well be the end of Emmerich. But it also just depends on, is there enough here to clear up enough of the army that's close by? And maybe there is. Kills the dog, makes sense. You don't want to leave your opponent too many units that can suicide onto commander from one tile. And we've got an Emmerich that's... Hmm, I don't know. There might be lethal here. There is a frog nearby. He is next to a beach, so... I don't know. Can Sakura do this? Alright, obvious targets first. Kill the air units with your anti-air. Okay, picks up a kill on that mage. Are we gonna see the coach try and go for it? No, it doesn't go for the suicides, just goes for the army fight. And that's actually very typical Sykoya. Sykoya is not someone who will go for lethals unless he absolutely has to. Ragnar has tier two groove. Ooh, good frog pull. More units getting picked up here. And yeah, just takes a nice clean fight. Sakura not going for anything too wild. Ooh, commander on beach. Okay, that might have been river. That would have been really bad, but in this case, I think the beach is actually relatively safe. Nothing really too close to it. Okay, and Emmerich got tier one already. Probably not going to see a tier two. Oh, Dragon's going to go up and get a kill there. Knight, yep, just goes for a crit, tries to get a kill. Commander on beach this turn. That is very spooky, especially because that knight counterattack is going to do a little bit of chip damage. Okay, knight goes down. Oh, I really hope there's a big mage heal. Okay, one comes in. Going to pick up another kill. Everything that happens here has to kill. Oh, well, actually, that creates a waller, so not too bad. I think Sparky might have done it. Oh, can this rifle actually reach across the map? I'm not entirely sure. I can definitely... Oh, I can hit the, the sword, if nothing else. Okay, which hex comes in. Ooh, Emmerich's on 81. Sword goes down. Knight is going to find the mage. Okay. Is there enough damage here to follow up? No. Sakura is just going to go for army damage once again. And I think this is the point when you start moving the rest of the army up here to fight. Golem coming north. Rifle just going to shoot the sword because it's the one target that's open there. Sakura actually having to back up again. Takes a nice trade. Is only picking off units where he can. Okay, ooh, good use of the pull there. Knight's gonna find a pick. Nothing really to fight this knight, and especially with the rest of this army backing it up. But good attacks coming in, and ooh, Trebuchet's in a really good position. Emmerich's gonna stay there? Are you kidding me? That is such a bold play. And Sparky's just like, I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to fight it out. It's you and me. I I don't know what to say, honestly. Okay, now he's just going to go find a target. And, oh wow. Okay, good use of the barge. There's a lot of stuff in front of Emmerich. I don't think he can die. But, this is such bold play. Sparky. 
Oh, but we got here too, Bride and Groove. All right, what's she gonna do? Lands right in the middle, kills the unit in front. Oh no, is Emric just dead here? I mean, sword crit, it's gonna do a lot, but it's not gonna do devastating damage. Is there a follow up? It has to be like a knight crit. Harpy hit will do some damage. Okay. Ooh, 23, something like that. Frog pull does a little bit more. Oh, he's just living. And we're gonna see a whole bunch of units surround Ragnar as well. So, Ragnar on a beach next to a bunch of tiles where units could be suicided from? I don't know. They're both being so bold with their commanders and neither of them are getting punished for it. What's Sparky gonna do? Walk back, tier two groove. Oh, there's a trebuchet in range of Ragnar. I think she just dies. I think we're gonna see a whole bunch of unit suicides. We're gonna see trebuchet hit onto commander. She's on the beach, that's a lot of damage. And we're gonna see more unit suiciding here. Dogs coming in. I think Ragnar's dead. I think we're gonna see the end of Psychoia. Swords. Beach tile they should suicide from. Yep. Big Mage Hill comes in. Oh, we're gonna see Sparky clear a unit. I don't know if they needed to necessarily do that. Did they realize halfway through that they can't actually lethal here? Or are they- Oh, I guess maybe they're just flexing now. Okay, Trebuchet is gonna come in. Oh, that actually kills? Oh, wow. Oh, it is a crit tile, actually. Okay. So, Sparky actually just flexing at the end. The bonus range threw me off. I always forget it's not like the maximum range. It's actually five or more. So. Oh, what a game. And Sequoia was so close to killing Sparky, but Sparky was just so confident in the fact that they could put their commander on tiles, which normally are just completely deadly. Being next to a beach is almost a death sentence. Being next to a river as well is also really, is like even worse, but beach is pretty bad. And then of course you've got being on a beach yourself next to a beach, and you know, Sequoia paid the price there. And Sparky almost did too. That frog pull was so close at the end, but 3% life on Emmerich. And Emmerich just pulled back and was just like, I can just end the game now. But yeah, I mean, jumping onto a trebuchet crit tile with a commander is, is not ideal, especially if it's a beach. So well played. Sparky's going to take it. They did a really good push. They played a really solid Emmerich. And yeah, just really nicely played.